Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, welcome to the part two of my jewelry collection. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it below and above at the corner. Um, comparing to my rings collection, my necklaces and bracelet pieces are actually a lot less. This is also not my entire collection. I do keep some of my pieces back in Taiwan at my mom's place. Starting from the latest addition to my collection, it's from a brand called Laura Lombardi. It's a sustainable jewelry brand based in New York. They have a really strong and vintage vibe kind of design look. I was drawn to this particular necklace because it looks like a piece you would find in a vintage boutique or a piece that's, I guess, passed down from your mom or grandma or something. Then there's this necklace from Bottega Veneta. I know they've become a huge hit since they've got these new designers from Celine and everybody has been paying loads of attention to their bags and shoes. But honestly, I think they've been doing a great job on jewelry as well. This one I've got is actually a really long chain that comes with a sheen. Personally, I circle them twice before clipping so it creates more of a, I guess, statement or layer look. Moving on to Lucy Folk, which is one of my favorite Australian designers. This palm necklace is probably my most worn necklace in this video. I don't really layer this one because I like it being on its own. It's a really cute and contemporary and interesting vocal point. Then there's this chain from Tiffany. Chain has been extremely popular right now. I Honestly, don't think you need to get one from such an iconic jewelry brand as Tiffany But personally, I like to invest in everyday pieces because I know I will get a lot of wear out of them I love this oval design that makes it a bit different from your, I guess, general chains You can also hoop on any sort of pendant you have to make it more personalized This one is from Uga and truth be told, this is my first pearl necklace I love wearing this with my blouses for a, um, I guess, modern and feminine look this one is from a Taiwanese jewelry brand, Attic. I got this piece when I worked with the designer, Vanessa. I've been working with her for so many years, like since the start of my blog. She really excels in these lovely brass vintage looks, which I think is really unique in the market. And this last little one is from End Other Stories. I don't normally shop with them, but um, I'm really drawn to any sort of ocean related elements. So it's not a big surprise I picked this up. Honestly, I'm not a big bracelet person. The only times I wear them are special occasions, really. This one is from Attic, and as you can see, it's quite an out there piece. So guys, that's my jewelry collection. I know it may seem like a lot of pieces as well, but I've collected them through a long period of time and they are something I love to take a lot of thought and time to curate. I absolutely don't think all your jewelry should be high-end or designer. This is just a category I love investing my money in and everyone has their own preference. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this is what you're looking for or find it interesting. I'll try my best to link everything I can below. If you like my content, do subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!